So right now we've returned to the home of Seven in Oktoberski that was hit by shelling two months ago. We're doing everything we can to get this family back in their home. Um, here you can see we've already started to purchase uh, some supplies for the remodeling and re repair of this home. We've got uh, several tons of concrete. We have some replacement uh, blocks uh, for the walls that have been destroyed here. This wall here is going to be replaced with uh, blocks and it's going to be a new wall as strong as this one here. We're going to be bringing the windows out and replacing the windows. Today we've talked to a um, expert and we've discovered that we're not going to be able to just uh, patch the roof like we uh, thought before. We're going to actually have to replace uh, fully half of the roof and um, replace with uh, the roof slats the other half. So basically it's going to be an almost completely new roof that we're going to be installing. Over here on this side we're going to be installing a whole new wall on this side of the home as well. The complete length of the home. We're going to be starting tomorrow uh, digging the trenches and removing the part of the walls that we need to remove. And tomorrow we're going to uh, be installing the rebar into the trench. And then after we have all the rebar installed throughout the sides of the house and everything removed that needs to be removed, we're going to be pouring the first uh, layer of concrete for the foundation. And then work's going to start on uh, putting in the new walls and everything else we need to do. And once we have the bottom part of the building repaired, we're going to be repairing and replacing the roof. Now, this is a big project and we need all of you out there to continue to help. As of right now, we've been able to raise $1,100 for the repair of this home. It's going to cost us about $2,800, maybe $3,000 with the replacement of the roof as well. So we need you all to please donate as soon as you can because we want to get this family back in their home in the next couple of weeks. Work starting tomorrow. We're counting on you to continue to help us, help the people of Dunboss and help this family here get back in their home. Please continue to donate.